Hello, this is the seventh uh, video for polynomial functions. We will learn how to do factoring by grouping. We will factor polynomials uh, with degree of 2, basically the same thing as um, the quadratic formula, but kind of easier. And, and yes, uh, we were finding the roots earlier on with the quadratic formula, and here we are finding the factors. But as you know, the factors are just x minus a, um, and a is the root, and this is a factor. So by finding the factors, you can also find the roots and vice versa. Okay, so <clears throat> uh, our first example is 7x squared plus 24x minus 16, and we want to find <coughs> the factors by grouping. So what we do is we will call 7a, 24b, and 16c, just like we did with the quadratic formula. And we know that when you have a degree of 2, a degree of 2, you will have two roots at most. Uh, and you will have two factors if it can be factored out. Sometimes it cannot be factored, so yeah, uh, that's something to keep in mind. But if, uh, for now, we know that there are at most two roots, at most two factors, and we will try to find both of them. So, <clears throat> uh, we will find two numbers that give you a times c uh, when you multiply them up, and when you add them up, they give you b. So, a times c is equal to 7 times negative 16, and b is equal to 24. So, we want to find a times b, which is equal to 7 times negative 16. We want to find a plus b, which is equal to 24. Now, what, what can a and b be? So, for this example, <clears throat> what we can do is uh, try to find um, the two numbers. So since 7 doesn't really have a factor or anything, we know that either a or b must be a multiple of 7. So let's call this a. a must be equal to 7x. And we know, of course, that b is going to be equal to negative 16 over x. Now we want, since a plus b must be a positive number, we know that the biggest number should be a, <coughs> a it should be positive. So in this case, let's try to decrease negative 16 to maybe negative 8, and we know that then x is equal to 2 and this is 14. So if we add 14 and negative 8, we get 6, which is not right. So now let's do it again. Let's decrease negative 16 to 4. So this means that x is equal to 4. And this gives you 28. So 28 minus 4 is 24, which is what we were looking for. So you can just try uh, make a list of the factors of both of them and just multiply them together and find when you multiply them which one gives you the right answer and when you add them up which one gives you the right answer and find uh, what two numbers um, fulfill both requirements. In this case it was really easy, we just tried first negative 16 didn't work, then negative 16 divided by 2 didn't work either, and then negative 16 divided by 4, and that finally worked. So you can do it like that, or you can also try to just find um, <coughs> the intersection between the two graphs. It's totally up to you, but this is the easiest way to do it, I believe. So we have found that A and B, we have found that a is equal to 28, and B is equal to negative 4. So, by finding that, you actually um, can factor out, so we have 7x squared plus 24x minus 16. And what A and B, and B mean is that you can actually express 24x as 28x minus 4x 
And if you group this together, 7x squared minus 4x and then 28x minus 16, you can actually group these two and group these two and you find that if you factor out an x for the first group, 7x minus 4, and you factor out a 4 for the second group, you get a 7x minus 4 in both sides. So you can actually factor out the 7x minus 4 leaving, leaving you with 7x minus 4 times x plus 4. And these are your two factors, two, uh, this polynomial.